Uh, Thailand has started to relax the lockdown measure on some business activities since the 1st of September. Together with the continuing economic stimulus measure, the government has carried out since last year. The Thai economy is ex expected to recover more strongly by the end of this year, especially for the domestic consumption. Over 97.5% of people in Bangkok of people in Bangkok has been vaccinated. And, and so can I ask you about Thailand's application to join the CPTPP? We are reporting today news that Taiwan and China, there's a lot of tension that could go on within that pact. Does that impact your application at all? Uh, right now, we have a special committee to consider that is the, under the cabinet and that uh, committee will give a recommendation to the cabinet whether to join the CPTPP or not. I also understand that you believe that you can reap more benefits from the Belt and Road Initiative that, uh, that China has. You've already got some projects in Thailand through the BRI. Where else and what kind of projects do you see potential collaboration through the BRI program, sir? I think it is worth noting that the Baron Road Initiative and the upcoming entry into force of the asset will only strengthen the Thai-China commerce outlook further. Uh, tangible outcome include infrastructure connectivity and digital connectivities, which are the key driver for achieving trade competitiveness and sustainable inclusive economic growth.